Hi, I'm Alex Mejia. Alex, uh, team's coming off a uh, week. Your home opener, really impressive. Your 11th ranked team, uh, you beat 22nd ranked Regis 2-0. Um, thoughts on that game? Um, Thursday's performance was, was pretty good from the group. You know, we were really happy, especially first official home game in almost two years, so we were really happy to get the result. It was definitely the first uh, home game where you had fans in uh, yeah. in two years. What was it like after last spring playing with em in an empty stadium? I mean, it's just so exciting, honestly. The, especially I got to the opportunity to score a goal too, and just having your friends and family at the stadium is there's no feeling like it. So I'm really happy. You came back on Saturday, a really good Colorado School of Mines team. You were up 2-0, and then they scored and eventually got the winner early in overtime. How difficult is that for your team to kind of put that one behind you and, and look ahead to the next games? I mean, games like this will always happen in the season. You know, it's just part of the sport. So, you know, it's just a moment to learn from it and grow. And we just, you know, the championship isn't won in September, in October, right? So it's it's just another milestone on our journey. Great. Well, a hectic schedule now for your team. You embark on a uh, trip to Hawaii. First off, have you been to Hawaii before? I have been to Maui before, but not to the two islands we're going to. So. Great. Well, you uh, you will be in Hawaii. You won't have a lot of time for sightseeing as yeah. it's a really hectic schedule. Three yeah. games in six days, Hawaii Hilo, Chaminade, Hawaii Pacific. Your thoughts on, uh, on playing three games in such a tight span? I mean, this is what you sign up for, you know, so we're just happy to get the games. And obviously the recovery part and traveling will be a little bit harder, but we should be fine. Uh, you've been on a real nice scoring roll. I uh, lead the team with four goals in so at a goal a game pace and yeah. you had one in each game last week. Why have you been so effective? Um, the preparation. I mean, I've been training super hard all summer last year, so I just I'm ready for the season. And that's it. You've been really good in the air on set pieces. Is that has that always been part of your game? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely headers. I'm, I practice a lot and I'm also pretty tall, so it helps. Uh, after you score a goal, you've got a, a uh, <laughs> celebration. Explain uh -huh. to people what you what you um, got going on there. Yeah, my celebration is El Tigre. So that's what some of the team calls me. It's just a fun nickname. And so my celebration is like a, like a tiger, basically. Very, yeah. very nice. Well, now you uh, started your career here. You played in the back line on defense. Mm -hmm. uh, been now forward a couple seasons. Obviously, it looks like you've made that adjustment. Yeah. What was the difficult part of that, and what was the key to your now being successful? I mean, the hardest switch is just, uh, I would say, the spatial awareness. You know, playing center back, the game was always in front of you. And then now coming in to play forward, you know, there's there's action going on all around you, especially if I drop deeper. So the, the biggest challenge was just um, knowing your surroundings more. Because the simplest part is scoring, right? The ball's there, you just put it in the net, right? It's, it's a simple concept, but the actual game is a little harder. Yeah, Sim simple concept, not so simple for the, the rest of us to yeah. put it in the back of the net. So yeah. you're doing that at an unbelievable rate. Let's talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, first, tell us where you're from. Um, well, I grew up here in Seattle, Washington, and I went to Roosevelt High School. Great. And why did you decide to come to Seattle Pacific? Um, I don't know. I just... I came on a visit and I just really liked the school and the program and that was it. I just, I liked it. Great. Uh, kind of an odd scenario because of last year, the season was moved to the spring. You played a limited schedule. Um, the NCAA allowed people to have an extra year of eligibility mm -hmm. and a lot of people took advantage of that, but it, it uh, makes it kind of odd. Where are you now standing in terms of school and, and your major? Oh uh, yeah, so as far as the actual classes for my finance and economics, I'm 100% done with that. So right now I'm just enjoying school. Exactly. <laughs> Not much to do. But, yeah. And uh, what's, uh, what's next for Alex Mejia after college soccer? Hopefully professional soccer. So that's, that's the goal right now. And that's part of the reason why I'm you know, on fire right now is because I don't have another chance, right? This is it's now or never to get a contract. So every game I play like it's my last. Great. Well, Alex, you'll have three more opportunities to play like it's your last game in Hawaii. Yeah. Good luck this week. Thank you.